Today on Wrist Beards and Gear, we dial in a high gain guitar tone on the Line 6 Helix from scratch. A few months back, I dialed in a tone on the Fractal Axe Effects from scratch, and I thought I would kind of continue that train of thought, especially having got off tour using the Helix. Um, I've had a lot of requests to kind of show how I would dial in a given tone for the Line 6 Helix. So I have my Line 6 Helix rack fired up. I have my HX edit uh, up on my screen and we will predominantly be using that. Uh, I won't be on the actual Helix dialing so you can follow along on the screen. Um, I am on firmware 2.82 as of this filming and so you guys can, so it's more universally usable through all guitars. I'm using a Gibson Les Paul 2019 50s standard model. And a, I have a, a Duncan JB in the bridge. Pretty middle of the road guitar and pickup setup. I'm going straight into the Helix and I have a totally blank patch. And let's get started. So I usually start with a few basic items and then I kind of, eh, make broad strokes with the tone, and then I fine tune and build upon that foundation that I initially built. So, for example, I'm gonna select my multi. Uh, the gate's already on, the threshold's already on. Um, this is from another preset, but I'm gonna leave that as is. Gate's on, input gate's on. I know I'm gonna want, oh, I don't know. Let's try a super basic, Distortion, and I love the Tube Screamer, so I'm gonna start with the Tube Screamer. Um, as far as amplifier, I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna skip a space, and I'm gonna go to the amplifier blocks, and I'm gonna pick, let's pick arc, Archetype Lead. Now, I don't have any cabinet yet. I don't have any cabinet yet, so it's gonna sound like garbage, so I need to pick a cabinet. And I'm gonna go, you know, a 412 Mesa Boogie style 412. So the Cali V30. Then after that, I know I'm gonna want to fine tune. I always want to fine tune. I'm gonna put in a high and low cut for now. We're gonna come back to that last, but let's see how this even sounds. <laughs> Sounds all right. Sounds pretty decent. Um, I don't know about the amp. It's a little top endy and crunchy. Uh, let's try the angle. Too far the other way. I don't like the litigator. Not what we're going for at all. Uh, I tour in, um, and my main tone in Dragged Under is this Rev Gen Red. I am a Rev Amp owner. I love it. Let's see how this sounds. That's absolutely in the ballpark. Uh, it's a little, it's a little gained out and I'm not sure about the cab. Now what I'm hearing in the cab is a uh, lack of like dimension, I guess is the best word for it, but we're going to come back to that. So my overdrive, you know, gain is at noon levels up there. I'm going to turn the gain down. I'm not going to go zero. I know what you guys are thinking like, oh, you know, in real life, we're going to go to zero. Uh, in the digital realm, that's not always super true to real life. I usually try to have it about one. And I don't know, let's just see how that sounds. You hear it's brought a lot more clarity to the high gain notes. I could turn this back up. Uh, 
I like how it compresses, but I would rather have clarity. I'm gonna put this back down, uh, I don't know. Let's go 1.3. Now keep in mind, we haven't even touched the amp controls yet, right? Channel volume's up, um, the hum's down, the seg's in the middle, aggression's in the middle, aggression's on one, uh, which is, I believe, the blue. Um, I mean, so far we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Before I mess with the amp, I'm gonna try not to touch that yet. With the cabinets, I know I definitely prefer IRs with the Line 6 stuff, especially. Um, I have some impulse lists loaded. These are all ML Sound Lab. Now, the reason why I like ML Sound Lab in particular is they sound fantastic, but more importantly, um, I can use them in conjunction and mix them with the Line 6 cabs if I want. Um, so this is the Mega Oversize. This is an oversized Mesa Boogie 412 pack. And then I have some, uh, out, of, some out of the orange pack as well because I like an orange uh, cabinet as well. I like orange and I like Mesa. I'm actually gonna get rid of this cab. And I don't know how these are gonna mix. Um, I'm gonna try gonna go impulse response we're gonna go to the 10 10 24 so we can do multiples because we're gonna stack them I'm gonna just go for pick the first orange see how that sounds <laughs> right away there's way more depth there's there's just a more of a dimension to the tone <laughs> Okay, but I think we can do better. I'm gonna do a second instance of the IR, and I'm gonna pick something from the boogie, boogie pack, um, the Mesa, Mega OS. I guess Omni. I mm, yeah, I was trying Omnipotent. I'm gonna put it in parallel. See? That's, that's way better than it was with the single uh, Helix cab. Um, IRs are definitely a, a great way to add dimension to your tone. Keep in mind, we haven't even touched the amp yet. Um, we're gonna do that now. Let's, let's go ahead and do that now. I'm hearing some low end that we're gonna fine tune in a little bit. I'm gonna turn down the low end a little bit. Uh, I'm going to turn down the presence and I'm going to turn up the mid just a smidgen. I'm not going to mess with the bias, uh, the ripple, the hum, the sag, the aggression. I don't know. Sounds pretty good. Now, I this needs to be fine-tuned a little bit. I'm gonna come over to my EQ and I'm gonna do a low cut at about 110. It's a gradual slope and I'm not gonna cut off a lot and I'm gonna play with it. I'm gonna use my ears. 
You hear how that's already tightened up? I'm gonna turn this off and listen for the low end. I could actually come down, back off that a little bit, like 90. I'm gonna cut some of the high end. I'm gonna come down about 16 or so. Now in a live situation, if I was using this for uh, straight to front of house at the band volume that the PA is gonna be at, I would be chopping this all the way down to like 7K. You're taking a lot of top end off. Maybe 8K, um, just because the, that amount of top end amplified will just take everyone's head off and it's not pleasant for anybody. <laughs> I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to A and B this block. Now I'm going to fine tune even more. I'm going to come over to this block and I'm going to create another EQ block and we're going to go... Let's go 10 bang graphic. I'm gonna find the low mids, uh, the 250 range. I'm just gonna dip these just a little bit. I don't wanna want dip it too much, but I want a little bit more clarity. good to me uh, we could fine-tune it even more by coming back to the tube screamer die on this back and maybe upping the tone to seven and maybe upping the level going into the amp to seven <laughs> That's basically what the bass tone that I would dial in would sound like. Uh, and then I would add something like maybe an octaver going into the front end for the part in my band song called Riot. Uh, maybe some delay or some verb after the cabs. Um, the world is yours after your bass tone is built. This is a solid bass high gain guitar tone that is usable for any number of genres. And you can fine tune it if you're adding strings, you know, seven, eight strings, something like that. But yeah, that is the bass tone that I would dial in for a Helix rack. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Uh, I am here to help, and uh, I will link down below in the description if you would like to download uh, this patch as I have dialed it right now.
Thank you so much for watching. Fluff out. Video's over. I hope it was good. I mean, if it wasn't good, I apologize. But if it was good, you're welcome. <laughs>